Hi guys, welcome back to Tara Makes Up. Today I have my June favourites. It's a little late this month because, as you know, I got married in May and I just feel like since then, getting back into the swing of YouTube and the blog with work, it's actually been quite difficult. I feel like I've kind of had my first real challenges of getting things out on time, uh, making new content, etc. And I also launched my second e-course, The Modern Bride, which is now live, so I'll pop that below as well if you want to check out that. And um, yeah, so back on with June favourites anyway. I'm gonna try and get back into it, like I said, guys. Also, me and Hannah from Hannah Jane's were not very good at sticking to our whole one a week every Wednesday. I think the biggest problem I have with YouTube is that it's not my full-time job, so sometimes it's so hard committing to, um, you know, doing once every week, even though I so want to. And I think so far I have bar like one week or something in the whole couple of years I've been doing it. Um, but yeah, I just, like I said, I, it's not that I don't want to, it's just been that work's been really busy and a bit crazy, and obviously I got married, and I wanted to really enjoy that. So um, apologies aside, and um, let's get on with June favourites. So there's quite a mix of stuff this month. I feel like there's quite a few kind of like accessories, like clothing and skincare and makeup. So, hmm, what's that with first? I kind of feel like I might just mix it up. Hmm, maybe, maybe I'll go skincare. Okay, so the first one is, might be a surprise, might not. You guys know I'm always late to the bandwagon. This is the Oscar Renaissance Cleansing Gel. You would have heard, if you follow Lily and Anna's channels, you will have heard them talk about this a lot because they definitely are big fans of it. And a lot of people at Oski got in touch with me and said, would I like to try it? So obviously I very, very happily was like, yes, I will. And I've been using it about a month now and I definitely love this. I definitely think it's one of those products that kind of, when something has a lot of hype around it, I like to use it for a good while before I make my decision. Now, obviously with skincare as well, what works for me might not work for you. So it's harder, I think, with skincare because this is a favorite for me and I've heard really good things about this product. However, it's always good to like try a sample first if you're trying something new skincare wise. Um, so it is like a kind of facial wash, a cleansing gel. Um, I think you can use this to remove makeup, but I really like it after I've been working out. I feel like after I've worked out, all the kind of like salt that comes to my skin tends to make me go like a little bit pimply if I've been sweating a lot. And this just like does a really deep clean, but it doesn't, I think what it is that I love about it is it doesn't dry the skin out. And a lot of my face washes, after I've washed my face, it just feels like really tight, like it's craving moisture. And this somehow manages to kind of replenish the skin at the same time. So it feels very moisturizing, very nourishing, and it's just a really, Really, really lovely cleansing gel. So the next one is a new release from Sarah Chapman from her Skin Assist range. And this is the Skin Assist Skin Insurance SPF 30. So it's kind of aimed as like an anti-aging product that helps blurs, that helps softens, that helps conditions the skin. Um, it does have SPF 30, so it's great for kind of this time of year. Um, it has quite a hard bottle, so it's quite an interesting packaging. You take the thing off, it has a little pump. And it's one of those products that almost comes out with a slight tint. Um, but it doesn't kind of like tan you. I feel like it would complement most skin tones because it does kind of go invisible into the skin. But it just gives like a little bit of extra something, like a bit of radiance. It's nice that it's an SPF 30 and it doesn't make the skin look chalky or kind of, it doesn't put any white pigment into the skin, which is why I really, really like it. Um, and I've just been wearing it under my makeup, almost like a primer, even though it's not meant to be a primer. Um, and it's just given like an extra bit of conditioning. Plus I know I've got my SPF 30 and, um, it has kind of a similar scent to the overnight facial. So if you like that, this is like a diluted scent almost of that. Um, but yeah, I just think it's really nice to find an SPF 30 that doesn't go really, really chalky or feel thick. It's very comfortable on the skin. Plus it has lots of anti-aging benefits as well. So I think a lot of people will like that and I've really enjoyed that this month. So foundation wise, I just have two favorites this month. Now, I think keep in mind when people talk about monthly favorites, I know a couple of people have highlighted it recently on YouTube that it seems absurd to kind of have all these luxury favorites every month, but for me, a lot of them are things that I use in my pro kit, not just on myself. So I'm kind of like always testing things out and often I can see like universally how they work on a different number of people. So the two foundations that I've loved, one I've had for ages and only really kind of properly got into this month and then one is slightly newer. So the first one is the Burberry Fresh Glow Foundation, which again, it's been around a long time. Packaging is pretty bulky, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like this is all very heavy. And even my kit, I've kind of decanted them down because they're just a bit, a bit too bulky, a bit too big. Um, would look lovely on a dressing table though, very kind of like obviously high-end luxury part of the market. And also, since I've got back from LA, I've still got a bit of a tan, which is amazing. Um, and I'm trying to make the most of that. But what I will say is that the Burberry Fresh Glow, I'm the shade Ochre at the minute, just is like the exact skin tone I am. So as I faded 
from my kind of LA tan. This is like what is suiting me right now. So I've been loving that on myself. Um, it is a little bit glowy. It still looks like real skin, but it just gives the right amount of coverage to cover where you need it, but also have a natural looking finish. Um, and that does have SPF 15 as well. So it's not too bad with flashback. It's not, because it's not too high in SPF. So the second foundation I've been loving is the Touche Eclat Le Ton, which is the new reformulated version of the YSL foundation. Now, it doesn't say on mine what SPF it has, if it has SPF. I'll check on the packaging and see what it has, and I'll put it on the screen if it does or doesn't. Um, I am currently the shade B30, and everyone keeps asking me what is different from this to the old one. And I can't really put my finger on it. I feel like it blends that little bit better. It's almost like comes out a little bit more emollient, but it still has coverage. So if you're looking for, you know, a light dewy foundation that's quite, I wouldn't say it's light reflective in that it's like super dewy, but it feels very comfortable on the skin. Um, and I feel like you get coverage with this. So if you're looking for something that's still kind of like the more moisturizing finish, but you want the coverage, this is a really good option. Um, and it's very, very buildable as well. So I've been really enjoying that. And I just feel like, again, the color tones YSL do are really good. They do great undertones for kind of neutral skin, cool skin, warm skin. Um, all the different tones are really well covered within their foundations. And I like the shade ranges they do um, across this foundation. So um, go to a department store, pick up the new one and just have a little try on it on the back of your hand and see what you guys think. I'd love to know if you guys can kind of put your finger on exactly what the difference is. Um, but nonetheless, I've still really enjoyed that foundation. So two more makeup products that again have been around ages, but I think since I got married, I've just fallen totally in love with again and having a proper love affair with at the minute. Um, the first one is Hourglass Dim Light. Now I have a couple of these in my kit. I go backwards and forwards between different powders, um, but oh my goodness, I've so remembered why I love this and it's because it's like the powder for people who don't like powder. That's the best way to describe it in that you get that little bit of not light reflection, I wouldn't say it's spot. Even when you put it onto your finger, you feel like, whoa, that's gonna be shimmery. Um, but it's not, it just blends into the skin and just keeps it looking radiant and dewy without kind of going too matte. So I feel like you can use it to mattify under the eyes, it's really nice. Um, it's really nice around the nose or if you've kind of got cream blush and then you just need to add a bit of powder down the center of the face. This is really, really good. And um, I am super addicted to that again. And I've only got it in miniature because I got it from the Sephora minis and that was where like the love affair started again. So I definitely need to pick up some more for myself in the full size. Now you guys may know I have been a lover of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in my kit for quite a long time. I think it might have even been like two years running as my favorite for, um, what was it? The, like my 2015 favorites, my 2016 favorites. However, there is a new concealer that has changed all that. And it is the Urban Decay Weightless, uh, the Naked Cover Concealer. I've kind of had it in my kit for ages, I've used it in other people, and I don't know what it is, but I think it's just the fact it blends a lot easier than NARS one. And I feel like this one doesn't cake. I feel like the NARS one, a lot of people say, especially if they've had dry skin, that it just starts to go a bit cakey, especially under the eyes. And this definitely, on me anyway, doesn't do that, and on a lot of my clients doesn't. And I've even got it in miniature, which is just perfect now. So for my gym bag, I've got this one. And um, yeah, I just think, again, the shade range is pretty good. I feel like a little of this goes a really long way. You get a lot of product on the doe for applicator. Um, I'll show you the applicator it comes with. Um, and at the minute I have kind of two shades. I use one to put all like over kind of any redness and then I have a brighter one to use under my eyes. And I just love it. I really can't get enough of this concealer. Um, I feel like as well, while I've had like more of a tan from LA, I've been trying more products that I wouldn't go for normally while I have a tan, which has been really fun. I've been able to like play with new things and maybe that's why I'm finding more makeup favorites. So the next one, believe it or not, is exercise. So not just any exercise, I feel like you guys may have been seeing on my Instagram or my socials, um, basically I am now doing this thing called Class Pass, which I'll put links to it down below with everything else. Um, Class Pass is like a monthly pass, effectively, to all different classes around London. But the great thing is you can actually use it, and I think it's up to 30 countries. So when I was in Los Angeles for the wedding, I was able to switch the app to being in LA, and I could do all the different classes in LA as well. And um, it's quite pricey, but I feel like how I've justified it to myself is that I found exercise so fun again, and I think it's the variation. I've realized for me, I think since I've been, I mean, let's see how old, I don't even know how old, but I've always done something like running, or I've gone to the gym, and I feel like it always gets a little bit laborious after a while, and a bit tedious because it's repetitive, and then I always feel like I'm looking for something to kind of like make me excited again. 
And with this, it is just the variation it is so extreme. You know, you could, I've been doing reformer pilates. I've been doing, um, you know, like spinning classes with like really cool music. It feels like you're at a rave, but spinning. Um, I've been doing, you know, like hit workouts. I've been able to do yoga. And let me know guys, if you'd like to see a fitness related video, like a fitness and beauty video, because that's something I'm becoming really interested in at the minute. And I've definitely been following kind of a lot of other fitness YouTubers and bloggers, um, especially ones that have like a really balanced approach to exercise. That's really important to me and a balanced view kind of on food and exercise together. I feel like nothing in extremes. Um, and for me, I have to enjoy it primarily to keep doing it. So let me know if you want kind of like a video on my overhaul of like fitness and beauty as well, because I'd love to do that. Everything and anything you can imagine is on ClassPass. Um, and the fact that when I travel now, it means I can just switch the app. And also I can even put in the app, say if I'm on a job and I've got my suitcase with me with my kit, I can just have my gym kit in there and just see what's nearby on ClassPass, near the area I'm shooting in. And it means I can always find something to do. Um, even if I'm short on time, I can just, you know, I've not got to run back to go to a particular gym or a particular area. And I just feel like with what I do as a job, it fits so well with my lifestyle. So yeah, ClassPass has to be a favorite this month. I think I've had it about three months now and I didn't want to share it in a favorites video until I felt like I'd properly experienced it. Um, and a lot of the gyms you'll go to or the classes you go to are very kind of like, what's the right word? Very, very fancy places. So it's really nice. You know, they have lovely showers. There's always like shampoo and conditioner and body wash and towels there. So you get really well looked after. And I think I now pay, it's £110 a month for unlimited. However, I, a lot of the classes I'm doing are around like £20 for one class. And I think the first month I did about 16 classes and I added up all the classes. And I think if I'd done each class individually, it would have cost me like £375. So I was like, okay, 110, as long as I'm using it, I think at the minute I'm going about four times a week, three to four times a week, and I just love the variation. It's so enjoyable. I really enjoy feeling challenged um, and trying new things is really good. I even bumped into a subscriber the other day at one of the classes. That was really lovely. So hi, Laura, if you're watching. <laughs> That's really lovely. We were chatting at, I think it was Rebel One we went to. And um, yeah, it's just really nice. I think it gets you chatting to other people, meeting new people. So I really, really recommend that. Um, and I do have a code actually as well. They give you a code on the app where, a bit like Uber, if you share your code, you guys can have like 20 pounds off. Um, so I'll share that down below if anybody wants to try ClassPass for a month, see what you think. Um, if everybody else is doing ClassPass, let me know what your favorite classes are, because I would love to know. And um, yeah, let me know if you guys would be interested in a fitness video, because I will go into this way more detail if anybody else is interested. So the next ones are kind of accessories, clothing, and I have these sunglasses, which come in a cute little heart-shaped box. Um, these are from Wild Fox. They're a bit dirty, actually, on the front. They kind of have like mirrored lenses. But they're glittery, which is just so fun. So hopefully you can see the glitter. There's like gold glitter in them and the gold W. And I wore these a lot when I was in LA because it was just like nice to have a really fun pair of summery sunglasses. Um, the plastic feels really thick and kind of like good quality. Check I've not got a sunglass mark, um, which I do. <laughs> but yeah, really good quality. They've got like nice kind of like weighty feeling. And um, they've got a slightly kind of like yellow mirrored lens. It's probably not going to show up with my lights, but really love those and I wore those pretty much the whole time I was away. And the next one is a very special one for me because it is actually, let me get these the right way around, it's my wedding shoes. <laughs> now these had to be in a favourite because these just made me feel so special on my day. I love my dress but for me the most exciting part of my wedding attire was my shoes. Um, they're by Gucci and they have these gorgeous little kind of blue stones on. And I actually wanted these because I was like, the blue could be my something blue. Um, I'm not particularly traditional, so hence why they're not maybe a standard wedding shoe. Um, but also because we're on the beach, I kind of like held them <laughs> down the beach and then put them on for the dinner we went to afterwards. But they've got quite a high heel, the zips on the back, um, and just the beautiful stone detail. And I just felt very, very special in those. And then the next favorite, you guys are gonna laugh. Get the next favorite is Adidas Stan Smiths, which when we had the party back in London, I wore my wedding dress with these shoes. And then once we start, I think I wore them for like an hour and a half and then I was in agony, but I love them. And so then for the last part of like the wedding party when we were back home, I put my Stan Smiths on with my dress <laughs> and was really comfy for dancing. And the lovely reason why these are like a favorite for me, not just are they amazingly comfy and I wore them loads in LA, I wear them loads for work now. They work really well with like really dressed up or really casual outfits, that's what's so cool about them. But the reason these are special is because my dad actually wore his Stan Smiths on the wedding day. So we had like matching <laughs> at the end of the wedding party, which was really nice. 
and um, it means that they'll always have a little special place in my heart plus they're super comfy so nice memories and um, yeah I think that's pretty much all my favorites like I said a little bit wedding related and exercise related and a bit of beauty and makeup um, as always let me know down below what your favorites are guys as well and um, let me know what videos you'd like to see coming up as well it'd be great to have some more ideas for what kind of videos you guys would like to see um, let me know if you'd be interested in fitness and beauty related and um, I'll see you soon for videos thanks very much guys bye